Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to add a right click change attributes context menu item to Windows so that way you could right click on files and folders and change their attributes rather than having to go to the properties and change them that way. All right, so it's going to involve a quick registry edit here. We have a couple of files here. One to add the option, then one to remove it if you don't want to use it anymore. So here's what the add option does. Quite a bit there. And then the remove option, just like that. All right, so to do it, we're just going to double click on the add attributes registry file here, click on run, say yes to the UAC prompt, say yes to adding it to the registry, and then OK. So now we can right click on a file. For Windows 11 you have to go to show more options unless you hold down shift. And now we have this attributes option here. So we can show the current attributes. We'll open a little command prompt here so we can say archive bit is set there. And we can reset the attributes Set it to read only, set it to hidden, set the system attribute, and set the archive attribute. And then remove each one accordingly. Alright, so let's set this to read only. Alright, so now when we right click and go to properties, we can see it's read only. And then we could also come back here and remove read only. Now you can see it's removed, and then you can do the same thing for folders, but for folders, you'll have some extra options here to do it for the folder, subfolders, and files. So let's say we want to make this hidden. We could set it for the folder, or we could do it for the files too. So let's do it for the folder, subfolders, and files. Now you can see it kind of grays itself out because it's a hidden file now, and you can see this one's hidden as well. If we go to the properties, you can see it's hidden. All right, so now we could right click on it. Attributes. Remove hidden attribute from this folder, subfolders, and files. And now it's back to normal. And then if you don't want to use the menu anymore, you could simply double click the remove attributes registry file. Go through the same process. And now you can see it's gone. All right, so I will add a link in the description where you can download both of these registry files and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.